it's a very different world. It's a very macro world. My main interest is with um, the relationship between humans and nature. In my work, um, there's a lot of narrative making and all these narratives come from research that I, that I um, carry out uh, on different scenarios, different projects. All these projects that I have done, created them under this um, institution called the Institute of Critical Zoologists. I think and a lot of the facts that I'm interested in is very dry and it's, it's very boring and, and it's very hard and, but at the same time it's very dramatic. Our, our relationship with nature is, is very dramatic actually but it, it can also become very scientific and very dead like this. Actually you can see from just dead insects or dead animals in the museum, it, it can talk about something bigger and, and sometimes um, the fiction that I develop um, helps me to kind of, uh, I, I think just open up a story. It's like I, using a novel but, but with a lot of facts inside to, to kind of just bring out that drama. Photography is, is a language that we all um, understand very well because we are so used to images every day but at the same time we seem to be very also very naive with the way we deal with images every day uh, it's very quick and it can consume us very fast but um, I think in that in my work most of the time I'm trying to the method I use is to try to slow down this consumption um, so this is one of the ways that I work is to use the image to uh, kind of slow you down and to as an entry point to the narrative uh, and so a lot of my images are kind of state it's very stage it is a composite of many different things together and um, and it's, um, it's a way that I, I set the scene for the narrative for my research